Okay, so yes, randoms, in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to defeat the new Fallen King boss on Roblox World Zero. Yeah! Wow! Woo! Wow! Yeah! Random Gamer! What is up, randoms? This is Random Gamer. You randoms are here, and we are back with yet, 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 yeah! Another awesome video. And in today's video, we're playing Roblox World Zero, brand new Halloween event, and I'm going to be showing you how to defeat the new Fallen King. Easy. Also, in upcoming videos, I am going to be giving away for free the Jack O'Lantern Pumpkin Pet. And also a free Red Dragon. So make sure if you're not already, you have subscribed, hit the bell, dropped a like. Feel free to follow me on Roblox, Game underscore YT. Join my Roblox group, Random Gamer. And I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. Yeah. Okay, so yes, randoms, I'm super excited. Hopefully, you're super excited. What are you waiting for? Without further ado, let's kill the Fall King. Boom. Sweet. Okay, so yeah, if you do start this game, you will start in World 1. But regardless of what world you're in, there will be a Halloween event portal. In World 1, it is right at the spawn here. And then, yeah, on World 2, you'll start by this tree. Go over here, and the portal is right there. In World 3, spin around from here, and the portal is over there behind me. And then here we are in World 4, and the portal is over here, left of the pyramid. And then, last but not least, World 5, it is right at the spawn. So you want to go straight in to the Halloween event. Go in and teleport. Boom. Okay, so yeah, when you get here, you will be greeted with the spooky courtyard. And over there is a prize wheel, which you need uh, tickets to get. This coffin on my back is actually from there. And you can get anything from armor dice to another ticket, to the coffin, to um, the gas mask. There's another thing here, and the chest. Now, I haven't got the chest yet, but hopefully we can get in this video. And once you've got the ticket... You can just walk up to here, hit spin, and then wait for your Q spot at the top, and then see what you get. Over straight there is the bank, but turn right at the fountain, and here is the um, new boss. Okay, so yeah, make sure you are inside this circle, by the way, where it says teleporting. It'll show a list of names, and then you teleport into the boss. Now, we're going to show you how to actually kill the thing. Yeah! <laughs> we're going in! Boom! Okay, so yeah, upon being spawned in, you'll be faced with this wall. Walk up to it, and then as soon as that starts, press G to skip and run forward so you don't get hurt. Once you're in here, there will be invisible walls here and behind him. So go in. Now, I prefer Berserker because, you know, you can just get a lot of damage on him. When this one goes down on the floor, you need to move out the way fast. Mains will help, and I will have a video on how to get yourself a free mount in the game. Yes, you can get free mounts. So make sure you know you're subbed bell, you've dropped a like, and then check out the video coming soon on how to get free mounts. Okay, so this guy you want to go in, you want to lay some damage down onto him. Um, I prefer Berserker because you can slam him with E and then press F to slam from there. When his floor AoEs drop, just move out of the way. Once you slam in, you can also press C to move back. Um, and then you just want to keep like circling around, dropping your attacks in, providing you probably won't have as much health as I have, which is 82,000 right now. And that's down to my armor. I am giving away a tanky legendary armor, by the way, level 60, um, again, in an upcoming video. So, for the first half of his health, you just need to keep leathering him. When this pops up on screen, you've been cursed, you must follow the purple lights and kill this guy, else you'll die. No, you do get two lives, so if you die once, you respawn. If you die then, then that's it, you're dead. I think if you stay dead, you may still get the reward at the end. Let me know in the comments below whether you do or whether you don't. I haven't tested it. Now, he's counting with the clock, so we wait for him to do that little explosion thing. That doesn't hurt us. And then when he's back up, we can keep leathering back into him. Now, just realised I didn't actually equip my pet, so I'm going to re-equip equip the pumpkin, which I'm giving away. This one, you need to move, but now we've got stuck, so just jump. There you go. Okay, so you've got to be careful because there are, oh, invisible walls here. Um, so when that comes out, sometimes you may get caught off guard like I did. If that happens, don't worry. Just stay away from him. It's going to be a while till he drops another one of those. You want to regen your health. You don't want to go in low health. And if you did get one shot, then you got a second chance. You, you know, this is how you defeat him. I'm not saying you're going to be able to do it. It's going to take a little bit of practice. You just need to keep trying. Uh, you know, it is better on PC. I haven't played this on mobile. I could not even imagine trying to do this on mobile. But you need to be dodging 
those floor IOEs. So now he's nearly half dead. We're going to show you the second phase and how to avoid all those floor IOEs. The, the first stage is quite easy. You know, you just jump out the way. You use your C back jump skill to keep away from him. Um, you don't want to get too close, which is why I use the Berserker so he can slam. Uh, anything like that you want to avoid. You do not want to get hit by that. You're probably going to get one shot if you've got less than 60k HP. Um, and these AoEs, they do overlap and stack. Drop my ultimate on him there. So you don't want to get caught in any of them AoEs. Which is why you'll notice I'm stood back and I'm dropping my attacks in, my slam jumps in. I can jump back. And then um, my Cyclone, which I can get kind of close, has a decent range. We can jump in, we can press F to double whack there, and then we can pull back. So it's all about kiting, hit and run. Now he, he is half dead, so now he's actually in the second stage. And there's going to be a lot more floor AoEs you've got to avoid. I believe he also swings with his sword. So you just want to keep an eye on him. Any floor AoEs like that, you want to stay out of the way. That one doesn't do that much damage. You can't really avoid that one if you are close to him. Just keep jumping. Anyway, jumping does negate damage sometimes as well. Um, anything like that that is slow, you want to avoid because those deal a lot of damage. Now, with these tentacles coming out, you want to avoid these. If you're in those tentacles, they're going to drink you. They drink HP. So we wait for him to come to us, or we wait for his tentacles to disappear, and then we just keep lathering, you know, damage into him kind of thing. But don't, don't rush on this to, you know, DPS him. You need to pace yourself. You need to take time while you want to get him killed as quick as possible. You also need to stay alive because what offense is the best defense? If you're dead, you're not going to be dealing damage. Okay. So, yeah, like some of the attacks you do have to kind of tank. If you're going low on health, you just want to step back and regen. If you've got a healer in or someone to buff your health, then that helps a lot. If not, then see that guy over there? Gosh damn. He really needs to stand back uh, as this guy is doing because you need to regen health. Once you've regen, go back in and just avoid all these floor AoEs and always make sure you've got yourself like an escape route so you don't want to have like those floor AoEs burning up behind you because if you're dead and you try to escape, then yeah, they're going to kill you. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, upon just dodging and attacking, this is it and Berserker personally is the best class for this because you can just attack fast, you can move out the way, you can do it with all the classes, it's personal preference, but uh, for me Berserker is where it's at because it deals an insane amount of damage as well, providing you can kite of course, you know, hit and run and not actually get hit. Now we've been cursed again, we need to get over here as soon as possible and this guy is elite, now he's going to hurt so you want to lay as much damage into him as you can but if he's going to kill you, you need to step out of the way, but if you don't release that um, curse, then you die. Um, again, you do get two tries in this, so if you die once, it's okay. Die twice, then, yeah, you're dead. And I don't know whether you get the reward or not. Okay, so yeah, this guy's up and alive, but I am going to regen my health. Okay, so yeah, now we're regen. We're going in, drop the ultimate. I spam that, and then just spam my head. Okay, that one I couldn't avoid. I'm trying to avoid as much of the floor AOEs. Now, AOEs, area of effect, so any attack that is on the floor is an AOE. So, if, you, if you're wondering what I'm on about by saying, you know, avoid floor AOEs, anything that's on the floor, that's an area of effect attack, you know, an attack that's going to, you know cover a wide area like those. Now, I am actually really hurt right now, and this guy is focused on me, so I need to get moving and hope that someone else draws his um, aggro. But either way, we just need to keep an eye on the borders, and don't get trapped, and just keep this guy at a nice distance while we reach in. Now we can go in, drop some attacks down, and then, yes! Right there! Baboom! Dungeon cleared. And that is how you defeat the Fallen King. Yeah. Now we can get our reward. So you just open the chest. Boom. You get a level one prize ticket. Then if you have the game pass like I have. You can open another one. Boom. And get a second ticket. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to return to town. And see what I get from the wheel. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo. Okay, so yeah, here we are right now. Now I'm going to go up to the prize wheel, and there's a lot of people here, so we've got to hit spin, 
And I am in spot nine. I don't like this Q system. I don't want to wait. <laughs> okay, I'm Q spot one. I am next. What am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? This is my spin. This is my spin. This is my spin. What am I gonna get? Ah! A potion, bruh. Okay, so I'm spinning again, and I'm Q place four. Okay, I'm next. I'm next. Come on, what are you gonna give me? I. I don't want another green tie. <laughs> come on, come on. Chest, chest. I want that chest. Boom. Give me chest. Man. Oh, so I won a ticket. Wow, so I got my ticket back. Thank you very much, game. Come on. Give me the chest. Give me the chest. Yeah, I want the chest. I want that one. I want I want that one. Yeah. Come on, pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pumpkin kill it. <gasps> Oh, I got another backpack and they're not tradable. I wish those were tradable so I could give them away. Okay, so yes, randoms, that does bring us to the end of the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, slap that notification bell, get it ringing, bloop, and make sure notifications are set to all. And please drop a like on the video. If we can get this to 100 likes, I'll give away the free pumpkin and a red dragon in upcoming videos. Yeah. Don't forget, follow me on Roblox, running game underscore YT. Join my Roblox group, running gamer. Buy some of my epic store merchandise over on Roblox. Join my Discord server where I do free giveaways as well. We'll be giving away some free molten eggs, dragons, and so on from this game in my Discord. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. Boom. Okay, so yes, randoms, we've been doing World Zero, showing you how to defeat the Fallen King. You randoms have been absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. I've been Random Gamer. Don't forget to stay awesome. Stay random. And I'll see you randoms on my next video or live stream. A peace out and a goodbye. Did you see how fast we destroyed the Fallen King? He got wrecked. Boom. Okay, so yeah, that brings us to the end of the video. But the fun doesn't have to end there. There's more videos up on screen. Go ahead. Check them out. Boom.